What's up guys, Isaac here, and it's time for another book recommendation. If you watched the last one, you'll have seen that I recommended On the Shortness of Life by Seneca, which you all should have read because it's super short and super beneficial. But now I'm gonna dive into a new one. I'm gonna dive into The 48 Laws of Power, which is a very, very popular book, and for good reason too, it's a fucking sick book. Um, Okay, before I talk about this book, I just want to give a background story to give some context on the relevance of this book, okay? So bear with me. A while back when I started my blog, therealizedman.com, I was posting articles on certain Facebook groups and getting some attention, right? So I got approached by someone. I got uh, DM'd, direct message by someone. And this person proposed that I make a personal development group with them and this other guy and we work together recruit some members and we share our content on there and get other people to share content into the group and to me this sounded like a really good idea at the time it seemed like a positive cause and something that would benefit everybody so I said sure so I was recruiting members into this group with the other guy this guy also was working with and he was also recruiting members allegedly so recruit members, recruit members, and we were actually gaining a fair amount of members. Now, the group grew to a certain size, it started gaining some traction, and this guy all of a sudden put his face in the middle of the group. But there were three of us, there were three admins, three people that were working here. He put his face in the middle of the group, trying to like brand it as if it was his group. So I confronted him. I said, hey man, what's the go? Why did you put your face in the middle of the group? This is a combined effort. I thought this was for everyone. What's the go? He said, oh, sorry. Um, it's just something I was testing out, a new image, but I'll take it down. No worries. He took it down. Now, things went on as usual. We kept recruiting more members. The group got larger. It grew to a certain size. It grew pretty big. And this guy put his face back in the middle of the cover, branded it as his group, and of course, kicked me and the other guy out as admins, we're no longer admins. So basically it's his group now. So, let that be a lesson. And also it turned out that this guy was some network marketing guy who created the group just to make money, just to lead, to, uh, lead people, funnel people down to his website and get them to join his pyramid schemes, complete douchebag. But if I had read this book here, before all this happened, I would have seen it from a mile away. I would have seen the power place from a mile away. If I had known about the laws, if I had known about law seven, get others to do the work for you, but always take the credit. I would have known straight away from the very first Skype call that this guy was trying to get us to do some free work for him. That would have been a big red flag. If I had known about Law 14, pose as a friend, work as a spy, I would have been a lot more suspicious about why this guy wanted to work with us. If I had known about all these other laws, I would have really seen these things from a mile away. This book here, it's a guide. You see, Robert Greene, the author, the reason he wrote this is he was, he was working in Hollywood. And he said that he notice a lot of power plays, a lot of people, manipulation, people taking advantage of each other to get into certain positions. Things that happen often when money's involved. He knows these things and people were taking advantage of him. So he actually started analyzing it and he wrote a book. And Robert Greene's a very analytical type of guy. If you read any of his books, you understand that he draws from the lessons of history and also psychology, philosophy, all sorts of different things that combines it to create his work, his masterpieces. So when you're reading his books, you actually gain your money's worth because you gain the history, you gain the psychology, the philosophy, you gain good stories, you gain practical principles that you can apply to the real world. So he wrote down 48 laws that people use. And if you can understand these laws, you'll be better suited, better equipped to discern or see when someone's trying to apply them to you. Now, Robert Greene got a lot of criticism because some of these laws people say are immoral. They sound downright evil. Let me read some of the laws, actually, to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about here. Law 3, conceal your attentions. Law 7, get others to do 
the work for you, but always take the credit. Law 11, learn to keep people dependent on you. Law 12, use selective honesty and generosity to disarm your victim. Law 15, crush your enemy totally. Law 27, play on people's need to believe to create a cult-like following. You get the idea. A lot of these things are not positive, hippie, fairy, positive, self-improvement type bullshit that you're used to. But this is what happens in the real world. This is what happens to high levels of power. Robert Greene didn't write this book so that you had to do everything in it. You can use this book as a true tool for you to help you understand when people are manipulating you because this happens in real life. People try to manipulate you and take advantage of you. And if you can understand how their mind works and the tools they use, you will be better suited to defend yourself. Or you can use some of these tools to get ahead if you wish. But that's not why he wrote the book. So see the book from our perspective. Don't judge it from a good or bad position. It's neutral. All these laws are just what happens. Anyway, all you guys should check out this book, 48 Laws of Power. I highly recommend it. I love it. It's a good read. And it will prepare you for the real world. And I'll be going through some of the laws of power in future videos as well, in more detail, the ones that I like. Anyway, if you guys like that video, like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think down below. Has anyone ever played a power move on you? Or have you played a power move on someone? Judgment free zone, guys. Peace.